हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज सिमेट्रिक रेजिस्टर्स ऑन क्यूब नाउ हियर बेसिकली व्हाट आर वी सपोज टू डू वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड आउट इक्विवेलेंट रेजिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू पॉइंट्स ऑन द क्यूब ओके नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द रेजिस्टेंस ऑफ ऑल द रेजिस्टर्स ऑन दिस क्यूब इज सेम राइट सो Here the resistance is R, R, R. The resistance is same for all the resistance for all the resistor in the cube, right? Okay. And we are supposed to find out the potential difference. Sorry, we are supposed to find out the equivalent resistance between point A and point B. Right? Okay. Now, first of all, I'll name the cube. This junction is number one. This is two. This is three. This is four. Then this is five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Now, I want to find the equivalent resistance between point A and point B. I'll consider that the potential at point A is V, and potential at point B is zero, right? Okay, so that means the current will flow from this particular point. It will come from this particular point, and it will move from this particular point, right? Okay, if I current is coming from junction A, then from point A, then the same amount of current will be moving from point B. it is very very obvious okay now what will happen the moment this particular current will come at this junction junction number 1 what will happen this current have three ways to go this branch this branch and this branch there are three ways to go so how will this uh, that means this particular current will get segregated into three parts now how exactly will it get segregated how exactly will it get distributed here the resistance is what r here resistance is what r here resistance is again r that means the current will find the same amount of resistance for all the three branches that's the reason why the same the current will get distributed amongst these three branches equally so that means the amount of the current which will flow from this particular branch will be what i by 3 and the current which will flow from this branch will again be what i by 3 it has to be what divided into three parts equally so that means this branch it will be what i by 3 okay now this current will come across this uh, uh, will come to this point point 2 okay now from uh, this particular point 2 junction 2 will have what two branches this branch and this branch are the resistance equal they are equal so that means this i by 3 will again get segregated into two equal parts so which is nothing but what this will be what i by 6 and this will be what i by 6 okay now i by i by 3 will come over here and here again i by 3 have two ways to go So that means the current will get again distributed into two equal parts. Why? Because here the resistance is R. Here also the resistance is what? R. So here again it will be what? I by six. And here again it will be what? I by six. Okay. Now see you. I by six and I by six will come at this particular point. And what amount current will? What amount of current will flow through this R? According to Kirchhoff's first law, the amount of the current which is coming to the junction, the same amount of the current will be moving out of the junction. So I by six plus I by six comes to I by three. So I by three amount of the current will be moving through this resistor. Okay, now see you. This I by three will come at this particular point, and again it has two ways to go. Here. The resistance is what R. Here the resistance is again what R. So that means this current will get again distributed into two equal parts. So here the current which will be go moving will be I by six, and here again I by six. 
Okay, so now what will happen? This i by 6 and this i by 6 will come at this uh, junction. And so what, uh, what amount of the current will be flowing through this R? Right, according to Kitschow's law, the amount of the current which is coming to the junction will be equal to the amount of the current which is moving out of the junction. So here, the amount of the current which will be moving will be I by 3, I by 6 plus I by 6 comes to I by 3. Okay, now I by 6 will come over here and I by 6 will come over here. So what amount of the current which will be flowing through resistance R will be what? equal to i by 3 and then what amount of the current will be moving through this uh, uh, junction b i by 3 plus i by 3 plus i by 3 comes to i right right okay now we want to find the potential difference between point a and point b okay i am considering <coughs> that potential at point 3 is equal to x. What is the potential at point 3? Is equal to x. So, can I say that the potential at point 5 is also x? Why, why is it so? Because, see the amount of current i by 3. What is the resistance r? What is the potential difference? i into r by 3. Here, what is the potential difference? i into i by i into r by 3. The potential difference is the same. That is the reason why this point 3, if it is at potential x, then this point 5 will also be at potential x and this point 7 will also be at potential x. Right? Okay. If I am considering that the potential at point A is V, tell me what should be the potential at point 2. Now here, what is the resistance R? What is the current I by 3? So that means what is the potential difference? It is I into R by 3. Is it same as this? Yes. Is this same as this? Yes. Is it same as this? Yes. That means the potential difference should also be what? Same as this. What is the potential difference over here? X. What is the potential difference over here? X. X. So that means the potential difference between point 1 and point 2 should also be equal to what? X. That's the reason why I consider that the potential at point 2 is V minus X. Now see what is the potential difference? The potential difference is V minus V minus X. So it comes to what? V minus V plus X which is equal to X. Is the potential difference same? Yes. So can I consider that the potential at point A is also what? V minus X. Right? So, can I consider that the potential at point 4 is also what? V minus X. Okay. Now, see you. Consider this point 7. Can I say that at 7, I by 6 plus I by 6 i by 6 plus i by 6 is equal to i by 3 is equal to i by 3 right okay so can i say uh, what is i i is equal to v upon r the potential difference upon resistor so can i say that i by 6 is actually equal to potential difference upon resistance so what is the potential difference the potential difference is v minus x minus x upon what is the resistance the resistance is r upon r okay plus i by 6 this i by 6 right so what is the potential difference it is v minus x minus x v minus x minus x upon r is equal to now let us talk about this i by 3 what is the potential difference the potential difference is x minus 0. Here the potential is what? 0. So, uh, sorry, sorry. x minus 0. Yes, the potential difference is x. So, uh, what is i by 3? i by 3 is x by r. 
right so that means this r this r this r will get cancelled away so what we have we have v minus 2x plus v minus 2x is equal to x so we have 2v minus 4x is equal to x so we have 2v is equal to 5x so what is x x is equal to 2 by 5 v right so we have found out the relationship between x and v okay moving further moving further can i say that the potential difference between this point this point and this point is given by see here can i say i by 3 plus i by 3 i'm talking about this branch i by 3 plus i by 3 plus i by 3 plus i by 3 is equal to i very obvious so can i say here i by 3 is nothing but what current which is equal to what v upon r potential difference upon resistance what is the potential difference x so i can say x by what is the resistance r x by r plus x by r plus x by r is equal to i and what is i i can say okay here what we have is 3x by 3 see 3x by r is equal to what is i i is nothing but what the potential difference can i say i is nothing but the potential difference between these two points that is v upon the equivalent resistance right i is nothing but what the potential difference between point a and point b upon the equivalent resistance yes or no so i can say it is nothing but what the potential difference between point a and point b which is equal to what v minus 0 upon equivalent resistance r equivalent right so i can say that v upon r equivalent is equal to 3 by r what is the value of x x is equal to 2 by 5 v so i'm substituting here 2 by 5 v right this v and this v will get, get cancelled away so a uh, 1 upon r equivalent is equal to 6 by 5 r so what is r equivalent r equivalent is equal to 5 r by 6 this is the equivalent resistance between point a and point b yes you have several methods to solve this this is one of the method how you can find out the potential uh, the equivalent resistance between point a and point b right i hope you have understood the session thanks a lot